Hello, welcome to Ian HRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video for the Sega Mega Drive Arcade Ultimate Portable. As I said, today's video is all about the Sega Mega Drive Arcade Ultimate Portable Portable? Portable game machine. Uh, a lot of people say, I say Sega normally, but everyone else seems to say Saga. Sega even so I don't really know I think it's Sega but I may pronounce it Sega during this video so apologies that's what I've always called it right this particular device is a basically it's the Mega Drive in a handheld console uh, it is an official um, Sega licensed product with the official Sega licensed games and you would think hmm how much would I pay for this Currently, seventeen ninety nine in Argos, seventeen pounds ninety nine pence for a Mega Drive with twenty games. Bargain. Um, so yeah, I saw uh, another video of this um, on YouTube, and I thought I've got to have one of those because you can play all my favourite games from a long time ago when I was actually really interested in games, which I'm not really anymore unless they're on a tablet. In which case, I just play Angry Birds. Yeah. But it does have a lot of games on there. So let's have a look at the box. On the top we have uh, Sega Mega Drive Arcade Portable, uh, Ultimate Portable Machine. Um, if you're in America, I presume that's a Genesis, because that's what it was called in America. They didn't have Mega Drive. In fact, I think we were the only country to have Mega Drive. Um, that says there, if you can see it, uh, it says 20 Sega games built in. And it also has an SD slot as well, which is useful because you can load ROMs on there. Um, there's good old Sonic the Hedgehog, um, a list of the games which I'll show you in a moment. On the other side, mm, annoying sticker from Argos which you can't take off and it messes up the box, but there you go. Uh, it's by a company called At Games. There you go, thank you, get that in focus. Um, who are a company, I believe it's probably a Chinese company, uh, imported by Argos Limited. So it is, I think it's exclusive to those, although you can get them. On Amazon but I don't really think the um, I think it is originally exclusive to Argos um, symbol 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 the sad onion there uh, on the back we have some of the features the SD slot larger 2.8 inch screen because this is a second volume of this volume mini USB for charging because it has a rechargeable battery rather than the original one which had you had to do three AAA batteries uh, video out power switch earphones and a rechargeable battery pack doesn't come with earphones, you have to provide your own, obviously. Internet game, download, feature via SD card and rechargeable battery via US cable. Um, and then that's just other languages on there. Right, let's just quickly focus, zoom in slightly so we can see this a bit better. Uh, video out, plug and play on your TV. I don't know what connection it is actually. SD card slot to download additional games. Um, then you have rechargeable battery, 2.8 screen. And these are the games you have. Alex Kidd, I don't really remember that one, I have to be completely honest. Um, Alien Story, um, that one is uh, Altered Beast, of course. Ah, oh, Altered Beast, I haven't played that for a long time. Golden Axe, one of the first games I had on the original Mega Drive. Um, Terra Master, is that Terra Master or Terra Master? I think it's Terra Master. Um, Shadow Dancer, Columns, Crackdown, Echo, had that game. Is it Edge Magazine? I believe it was Edge Magazine. Had so much hype for that game and raved about it for crazy. I brought it, slightly disappointed, have to be honest. Camera, get in focus, you stupid thing. There you go, stop focusing on the background. Um, then we have Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage 2. Yes! Uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Um, you have Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky. Don't remember that game either. Sonic Spinball. Hmm. Uh, Arrow Flash, Shinobi, uh, East SWAT, Sonic uh, Classic Sonic or Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 with oh, Knuckles. No one likes you. No one cares for you. Right, let's get to the actual unboxing. So in the box we have, ta-da, uh, at the back there another logo, rubbish. The actual device itself, hmm. Um, a USB to mini USB oh, and that's it no TV out cable that's annoying um, and then you have the instruction booklet 
which is probably, yeah, that's totally all the keys, no one cares about that. Right, so let's have a look at the device itself. Uh, right. So here's the device itself. Pull protective film before use. Really? 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 Right, now I can't get it off. Said the bishop to the um, other person. I'll stop that conversation there. And come on. There we go. Protective film is off. Um, and I've managed to scratch the screen already. Uh, so let's have a look on there. We have the D-pad and then we have your XYZ and ABC buttons on there. Start uh, and then on the side here we have the USB for the cha charging, the AV out for your headphones, the micro USB slot and the volume key there. And then on the bottom, oh no that must be, sorry, AV out for your TV uh, we have the headphones and we have the on and off. Now I don't know if this has a battery, how much battery it's got in it actually, but we will turn it on shortly. Um, and then you have the Mega Drive Arcade Ultimate Portable imported by Argos Limited. Batch number Y341. Um, these are not easy to get hold of. Um, around where I live this was the closest one for about 15 odd miles through all the Argos stores. Uh, I managed to get the last one. Yay me! Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy that I managed to get that. Right, should we turn it on? Yes, I think we shall. Let's just quickly see if we've got any power on the battery. <gasps> yes! At games. And there we go, we're on the front screen. Right, I don't know how well this is going to work. Just show you the screen. The old versions of these, uh, the screen was a lot, lot worse. It seems a lot better, a lot clearer than the uh, videos I've seen of the other screens. Uh, let's just zoom out ever so slightly and let's turn her on. Hopefully you don't get too much of a reflection on there. Right, what have we got? RK Kids. Now I don't want to play that. Turn the sound up a little bit. Uh, let's play Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Those speakers are not very good. It did say that. Right, I don't know what we're doing. Um, oh, hang on. Ah, trying to play through the camera screen. But I'm not actually playing that. Is that. I'm not touching buttons. Ah, that's because it was demoing it. Right. I'm not touching that. What, what are you doing? Stop. Stop now. Can I play it? Thank you. There we go. Yes, right. How do, how do I do? Oh, well. Ah. See, I. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Missed that strange flying thing. Yes, this may take a bit of getting used to again. I won't actually. Hang on, let me just turn that down slightly. Those speakers are horrid. Uh, right, there we go. Yes, that's better. Um, right, I'm trying to play this through while watching it on the camera screen, which is not very easy. Um, and I think, if I remember rightly, I was not the best at this. <laughs> um. But, oh, you stupid person. Anyway, I can't play that and talk at the same time. I can't multitask. Um, let's go back to the, how do you, do you have to turn it off? Yes, let's turn it off and then turn it back on again. There we go. Right, let's play something else. Um, let's do 
Streets of Rage, where are you? There you are, Streets of Rage. We'll do Streets of Rage 2 actually because it was better graphics on it. Loading. It doesn't say Sega, which is slightly annoying. Um, apparently one of the reasons that the sound is slightly offish compared to the original Mega Drive is due to copyright and patent stuff that they had to try and sort out and couldn't in a time. Yeah, I, I'm not bothered about that. Let's play. Right, press start. Yes, one player. Uh, yes, we'll go with Alex. Oh, there we go. Die, you horrible people. Thank you for the money. How do I pick that up? There we are. Right, you die. Let's die. 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 Thank you. Did you get aggressive when you play games? Die, 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 Oh! You kill me. I kill you as well. Not very well, though. Yes. You die. You die as well. You die. You all die. Yes. Anyway, so there you go. Um, that was Streets of Rage 2. Right, let's see what else we've got on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get back to... Do you have to say stuff every time? And Oh, look. Menu there. It says it's menu. Ah. <sighs> right. Uh, what else should I play? Let's play Echo. I haven't played this for a long, long time. Sega! Very 80s music. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Yay! It's Echo! Anyway, yes, let's get past that. The introductions are never, well, aren't quite as fancy as they are now. Some introductions on video games now might as well be a movie in themselves. Uh, right, press start. Uh, Yay, first line, lesson, level, even. Right, you have to go down, and then up, and do nothing. What about the controls again? I never really figured out what this game was all about. This is all I really did on the original one. I just sort of swam about a bit. At least I can jump now. I don't get that game, to be honest. Right, let's go back to the menu. See what else we've got on here. What else do I remember? Um, actually, where's Golden Axe? Uh, Altered Beast, that's what we'd want. There, let's play that. Now I believe, was this on the Master System? My brother had a Master System. It was the first game console we had in the house. And then I think I got the Mega Drive, along with the Amiga 1200, was my last one. There we go. Ah, die! Die, you horrible beasts! You zombies! What? Did you used to get naked and more naked in this as you died? But to stop. Die. I really can't play this very well when I'm on my uh trying to do this as a camera. Let's try and look at it. Oh, I am oh, oh what's that? I'm so shit at games, I really am. I'm so crap at them. Um right, let's have a look what else have we got here. Uh the one I, that isn't on here that I wish was, was uh, Road Rash, but you can download that. Um, let's try Golden Axe. There you go. Let's try that one. Last one we'll try. Sega!
Uh, no, no, we will have you. We will have you, whoever you are. You will be my quest. You will be my guardian. Uh, yeah, like that. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Oh, well, that was a waste of whatever that was, wasn't it? Swing, swing, jump. Oh, uh, these, right, okay. Some games don't, obviously, didn't have the extra control buttons, did they? What? Already? You could just die, you horrible thing. You all die. You die. Everybody die. I die, even. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, right, that's that's enough, Ian. Turn it off. Finish the video, otherwise all it will be will be 20 minutes of you playing shitly at games. So there you go. That is the Sega Mega Drive Arcade Ultimate Portable with 20 built-in games and the SD slot. I need to go and now find somewhere to download, download ROMs from. I'm sure there's a place to do it with paying money. I'm probably not, to be perfectly honest. I believe they will work on this wherever you download them, as long as you download the Mega Drive ROMs. Um, so, yeah, for 18 quid, you get in to relive your childhood and remember how really bad you suck at all of these games. For 17 quid, you may be brilliant at these games. I particularly suck at most of them, but I haven't played them for so long. So, um, I shall enjoy it. I shall play with it. How's your mother? Uh, yeah, I shall play with the game console uh, and probably lose interest after about 20 minutes and never pick it up again. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it mildly entertaining or slightly entertaining would be a bonus, to be perfectly honest. If you do like it, then click subscribe there like there if you hated it dislike it showed you watched it i get paid for it i don't really care to be honest i don't actually get paid well i get about half of a pence probably for, for you viewing this video so thank you i could buy a half penny sweet if they existed the fact that they don't and most you don't you get penny sweets anymore i don't know anyway i'll shut up thank you for watching there'll be more videos coming up soon enjoy your life bye